Hi, it's Paul here, co-founder of English Pronunciation Roadmap, and this is your Word of the Week. Okay, Word of the Week time. So this week it's Roxana. She suggested these two words. And if you have a suggestion, make sure you leave it in the comments below. One word or one short phrase, and I might be helping you next week. So let's look at the difference between these two words. Well, a pronunciation dictionary will tell you it's quite clear. You have an unvoiced S in the first word and a voiced Z in the second word. Unvoiced means there's no vibration, so S. And then voiced means vibration is happening in the throat. Z, Z. And that's the difference. But what if I told you that voicing is not the biggest difference? Because it isn't. Well, listen to me saying these two words and see if you can tell what the difference is, specifically focusing on the vowels within them. So, loose, lose, loose, lose. Well, if you said that lose had a longer vowel, then you'd be right. But why? Why does lose have a longer vowel? And I mean, another whole question is, it's got one O, not two O's. Why is that one the longer one? But why is it longer in terms of the way our voices work? So, good question. You could say that the S or the Z don't sound different enough when they're at the end of a word. So listen again. Loose. Lose. Loose. Lose. There's not really much of a difference. Um, if I try to make a big difference and I tried to add loads of vibration to the final Z, I might accidentally end up adding a vowel sound afterwards and lose, z, lose, would become loser, loser, which is a completely different word. So we don't want to do that. So instead, actually, the Z is only partially voiced. Have a listen again. Lose, lose. And often it sounds exactly like an S. Lose, yeah? So in the absence of a clear enough difference, vowel length provides a much clearer distinction between the two words. And it kind of makes sense that it's the voiced consonants which lengthen the vowels coming before them. I'll tell you why. Now look at this, you've got the OO vowel and the vibration drawn above. Now that vibration you have during any vowel sound, such as the OO, has to suddenly stop when you get to an S, which is unvoiced, no vibration. So use use. We have to suddenly shut it off. But if we want to add a voiced consonant afterwards, then we need to keep that vibration going. And as a result, we lengthen the vowel. Use. Use. And then that Z at the end, as I said, we don't keep the vibration going too long. Instead, it fades away, as you can see. Use. Yeah, not use, which is user, right? But use. Great, so try these phrases and see how you do. Red is shorter, green is longer. It's a bit too loose. Make sure you don't lose it. Loose. Lose. What's the use? Use it or lose it. Use. Use. Lose. Well, he paid the price. He's just won the prize. Price. Prize. There's ice in my eyes. Ice. Eyes. There we go. Interesting, right? And not a lot of people know that, so now you, now you do. Okay, so what's your tricky word? Leave a comment for us just below and it may be as i said in next week's video otherwise click subscribe we publish these videos twice a week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and hopefully we'll see you next week